Father James Birchall, who has since resigned his teaching position. As Robert Townsend reports, the group has other concerns as well. In a statement released today, the group Gays and Lesbians at Notre Dame and St. Mary's College charged Notre Dame officials with allowing Father James Birchall's alleged sexual misconduct of male students to knowingly go on for 15 years. The group, which is not officially recognized at either campus, is also asking for Birchall's return to the university where they say he must be supported with, quote, love and forgiveness. Notre Dame graduate student Michael Vohr says the university has failed to accept its gay students and gay faculty. I think they've been afraid that something like that would come out, um, and that has made them really hesitant in dealing with gay issues in an open way. The group wants to know who knew about the virtual abuses and when. Why was Birchall's sexual misconduct ignored for so long? What steps will the university take to repair the damage done to students harmed? And what steps the university will take to address the needs of its gay and lesbian community? Dennis Moore, Notre Dame's Director of Public Relations and Information, says, quote, In terms of the matter of Father Birchall's resignation, the university acted as soon as it had grounds to act. Birchall has resigned from the faculty, and in that sense, the matter is closed. Moore also says, as a matter of policy where counseling of students might be called for, that need would be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Meantime, Vohr says he and his colleagues will continue to fight for rights, for recognition, for respect, and hope their pleas don't fall on deaf ears. It's going to take a lot of openness. It's going to take a lot of shifting of opinions. Reporting from South Bend, Robert Townsend, New Center 16. The gay and lesbian group is asking Notre Dame officials to respond to their inquiry within three months.